Hi, it's Pete from NeatSpin.com. In this video, I'm going to continue building the Apple Newsstand application. And it's going to be quite a simple little video, this one. I'm going to be linking the view buttons of the front of the uh, Newsstand app to the individual issues that make up our magazine. So, let's open up the, um, the app in Seattle Clouds. And here you can see is a representation of what our front screen looks like and here you can see the individual view buttons for each issue so I'm going to create a link that will open up a PDF document that will represent every issue of our magazine now the first thing we need to do is generate some PDF documents so I've done this already but I'll just show you what I did super simple for the example I just opened Microsoft Word did a very basic page like this, I think. I added a, a footer on the end and inserted some sort of automatic page numbering at the bottom. I think it's down here, bottom of page, page number, something like that. And I included page one. So that every new page we have, let me make this a bit bigger so we can see. There we go, every page we have is numbered. And I give it some simple issue one and something in the middle. So, um, oh, one last thing to generate the PDF in case you didn't know. All I did was save as and chose PDF. That's it. And I did that for every issue of the magazine. Now we have seven issues for our new stand app for testing purposes. So, let me show you the seven PDFs are created. Here we go. So this will be issue one, cover page, and this is page one. And as we go down, this is the first content page, and then we get page number two at the bottom, and so on. And I just added a couple of pages so that when we start to scroll from page to page in the magazine, while we're testing, we can see it changing. So I did that for all seven issues and if I bring in this is the file list that make up our app at the moment so I'm just going to bring in those seven issues there we go they're all the same um, it doesn't really matter that I just place them in there but if we keep the files together then it'll be easier for reference later on so I'm going to move this to one side and what I'm going to do is go to the resource manager let me widen this Here we go. Click on Resources button, and then we're going to upload the PDF documents. Very, very simple. Choose Upload, navigate to where the PDFs are, find the PDFs, I'll sort it by type, and we'll just upload them. It, they're very small files, so it should be pretty quick. Here we go, they're all uploading. And once they're uploaded, you're going to be surprised how simple this is. Done. What we're going to do is create a brand new, uh, let's say, web page for the magazine that will load the PDF inside it. And Seattle Clouds make this super easy. All we need to do, if we go into the design of the magazine, choose Edit Pages, and you can see we've just got one HTML document at the moment, and that's our front screen of the magazine, or magazine app. So if we scroll down a little bit, we can see here a plus sign. So then Seattle Clouds gives us lots of different options. They've got tons of page templates we can use, but what we're going to focus on is using a PDF document. So if I scroll down, see this, it says new page name. First of all, I'm going to fill that in and I'll choose issue one. so that uh, it all makes sense and then I'm going to scroll down I'm going to look for PDF somewhere I'm sure it's down here here we go PDF reader just click that click the create button and now we've got this new web page and you can see we've got like a static image of a 
PDF page turning. Now, what we need to do is link our issue one PDF file that we uploaded to this HTML page. And this is so easy. All we do is click edit. And here is where we specify the PDF. So just click the little button there. We can come to resources. And that's where I'll choose issue one PDF. Click save. And that's it. We just linked our issue one PDF file to the HTML page. All we need to do now is link the button on the um, first page of the magazine. So if I choose done and go to edit on index HTML, all we need to do is come down here and where we got this issue one view button down below, it just create a hyperlink to our new issue one HTML file that we just created in um, Seattle clouds. So let's do that. Let's pop over to the HTML side. Now you can go offline and do it in a HTML editor if you want, but just to show you on here, I'll scroll down to the bottom. This is where, let me scroll a bit more, here we go. This is where our first issue is set up. So we have the issue one piece of text. We have the date. If I go back and show you in design view. Oh, we can't see blue, but you can see we've got like the issue one. Then we've got the date. Then we have the button underneath. So in the HTML view, issue one, the date, and then this is the button underneath. So what we need to do is where I had this um, bogus link is just type in issue1.html job is done click save go on to design just make sure everything's sort of lined up still then choose done and now we're in this screen let me zoom out a little bit Oh, it's a real shame we can't see the button. Let's go ahead and add the HTML documents for all the issues, link up the buttons, then we'll do a quick test. So, I can click on issue one and choose copy, or I can go back to the plus button. In this case, I'll just choose duplicate page. Click issue two. Done. Issue three, done. I'll pause the video and do them all. Okay, I've just duplicated those pages and now we need to choose the edit mode because they're all pointing to the same PDF at the moment. So I'll go to issue number two and I'll change that to go to PDF number two. Same with number three. And again, I'll pause the video, save so you watching this boring stuff. Okay, I've gone through and linked all these HTML pages to PDFs. Um, and let's see, all we need to do now is a quick test. So I'll click done. I'll zoom out a little bit so we can see the full iPad. And then let's click issue number six. Oops, we've got an error. Resources not found. Let's have a look. What? Oh, do you know what? I haven't. <laughs> I haven't edited the HTML itself. I just created the links. So I'll go back to edit pages. So I'll go into edit mode. Switch to HTML. Zoom in a bit to help my eyeballs. And all I'm going to do is copy this, paste it in here, change that to a two, change this one to a three, number four, Number five, number six, hopefully. Number seven. 
and the last one is number seven which is our current issue which is higher up i think oh and i don't have any html to actually link so i need to generate an anchor text and let's paste it in just about here just after it and we'll just tidy it up oops let's see this width is a little bit bigger So we'll do that. Let's call it item seven. Oh, let's see. Current just for completeness. That's the end of the anchor text. We need to change that to seven. And get rid of this one. I think that's about it. Let's have a look in design view. Okay, there's our view button still. That's the uh, current item. I'll tell you what, let's uh, change that to view so that we have a better pop-up coming up. I don't think people see that on the iPad anyway. But here we go in the design view can see view now so I'll zoom out a little bit more save the page choose done then let's see if any of these links work so we might as well click on the top one if you look down at the bottom here it shows you the hyperlink and you can see it's going to issue 7.html so I'll click it and then it loads the PDF now we don't get a live view of the PDF on Seattle clouds we have to load up our iPad go into the Seattle Clouds testing app, download the app and test it out there. Um, so that's what I'll do next. I'll just do a final test in here, just make sure all these view buttons link. So if I'm, I'm just gonna hover over, that's all I need to do. So we've got issue seven, I'm just looking down here. That's issue five, issue three, issue four, issue six, and I can't see the others, so I'll just presume that works fine. Give it a click. Yeah, super. Good. So that's about it for this video. I'll then do another quick video showing my iPad again. And we'll have a look at how the app works actually on the iPad.